Buhay grade 10, we are going to start discussing the lens equation and correspondingly the magnification equation. We are still under quarter 2, force, motion, and energy, but on the general category under optics. Let's begin. Were you lost? Remember the L-O-S-T? I have some few questions together with the corresponding diagram for each question and I want you to leave a comment as your answer and I will try to get back to give the correct answers for you. Number one, if this is the given diagram and this is supposedly a lens, Julia is our object in front of this lens, the question is, which figure of Julia could not possibly represent the image of herself? And try to explain under the comment section. Next question. Of the possible images of Julia, which would be virtual and which would be real images? regardless of whatever lens this is. Again, write down your answer to the comment section below. Number three. Again, of the possible images of Julia, which would be due to a convex lens and explain. For this question, this lens is supposedly a convex lens. So which would be the possible images of Julia? And number four, of the possible images of Julia, which would be due to a convex concave lens. Now, for this question, the last question will be, this now is a concave lens, which would be the possible images of Julia. Going with our video lesson, the question I have for you is, are you familiar with these two equations? I hope so. Because based on our past or previous lesson, these are the mirror equation and the magnification equation that we use in solving and quantifying problems related to the spherical mirrors. You always have to remember the different sign conventions very similar to our spherical mirrors. The following sign conventions for spherical lenses are as follows. Number one, the distance of the object from the lens is always positive. So the DI is always positive, measured in front of the lens. For convex or converging lenses, we have the following sign conventions. Number one, the focal length is always positive. As we have found out and discussed, Previously, we always have a principal focus for converging lenses that is real. That's why our focal length will be measured from the optical center of the lens towards the principal focus. And that will be measured positively. If the image is real, as you will have to describe it, the DI or the distance of the image is measured also positively because they are found and formed behind the lens. If the image form is a virtual one, the distance of the image is negative, found in front. If you're going to compare it with our spherical mirrors, they also have the same signs but remember, real images for lenses are found and formed behind the lens now, and virtual images are found and formed in front of the lens. 
For concave or diverging lenses, we have the following sign conventions. The focal length is always negative. And the image form is always a virtual one. Therefore, the distance of the image from a diverging lens or concave lens is always also negative because they are found or formed in front of the lens. So, the lens equation is similar to our mirror equation. The following variables are the same or have the same meaning such as your f is the focal length, your do is the distance of the object from the lens, and your di is the distance of the image from the lens as well. Remember to follow the rules of adding or subtracting the similar fractions. That is, they have different denominators. You always have to determine their LCD before you proceed with your solution so as for you to also arrive in the correct answer. Lastly, don't forget to always take the reciprocal of your solution to arrive at the final and correct answer. Just the way that we have been solving problems related to mirrors in the previous video. For the magnification, again, they are also similar with what we had learned from the mirror. It is m equals height of the image divided by height of the object or we can use the distance of the image or the distance of the object equated as negative di over do. Again, hi is the height of the image, ho is height of the object, di and do. And please take note that magnification is unitless or dimensionless because we are just getting the ratio of two similar or same quantities. And magnification will just tell us how much has changed in the size of the image compared to our object. If M or the magnification is positive, therefore, you can immediately say that our image form is a virtual. But if it is a negative one, then the image is real. If the absolute value of the magnification is equal to 1, when we say absolute value, we only take the numerical value of your magnification. So again, if magnification, absolute value of the magnification is 1, then the image is of the same size as the object. Number next, if the magnification, the absolute value of the magnification is less than 1, like 0 0.9, 0 0.8, and so on, the image size is definitely smaller. The image is reduced. And your magnification, the absolute ma value of the magnification is greater than 1, 1.5, 2, etc., the image is larger than the object. The objectives of this video lesson are the following. Determine the following measurements using the lens equation to solve problems, such as finding the focal length of the lens, distance of the image from the lens, distance of the object from the lens, and the magnification of the image. Also, to verify our answers, we are going to locate the position of the image of the object using ray diagram. So let us begin with problem number 1. A bottle is placed 15 cm from a convex lens that has a focal length of 12 cm. Locate the position of the image by means of lens equation and ray diagram and find the magnification of the image. So, let's list down all the given according to the problem. So, 15 centimeters is our distance of the object. So, 15 centimeters. And the focal length is measured to be 12 centimeters and we all know that this is a convex lens so our focal length will be positive 12 centimeters what are the required from the problem 
we are to locate the position of the image and that means we are to find the distance of the image or di and then later on we are also to find the magnification of the image so that is m what are the equations that we need to use accordingly for di from the lens equation original lens equation i will just write it down 1 over f is equal to 1 over d o plus 1 over di our magnification equation is m equals negative di over do so we're ready now to solve our problem let's begin so rearranging the equation we will be having to use this 1 over di equals 1 over f minus 1 over do and substituting it we have 1 over 12 centimeters minus 1 over 15 centimeters and our LCD for 12 and 15 will be sixty centimeters. So sixty divided by twelve will be giving us five. Sixty divided by fifteen is four. So that will be five minus four, or we get one over sixty centimeters. Again, rearranging or rather taking the reciprocal of the distance of the image we will have 60 centimeters divided by 1 or our final answer will be 60 centimeters so what does it mean we can find the image of that bottle 60 centimeters positive meaning it is found behind the lens and we have to quantify it and qualify later on using the read diagram and then second problem or second required is the magnification continuing with our solution so m equals negative we don't need to rearrange the equation so we can simply substitute it so di is 60 centimeters divided by our magnification rather distance of the object is 15 centimeters so canceling out the units again magnification is unitless we will be having 60 divided by 15 is negative 4 and what does it mean again since this is a negative value we have a real image but since the absolute value is 4 we have the image that is larger which is actually equal to 4 times of its height so for the ray diagram of this problem we have the following if this is the bottle located in our lens or in front of the lens since the focal length is 12 centimeters remember this will be the focal length similar to the other side so if this is 12 centimeters oops hanggang gitna lang okay so 12 centimeters or even on this side this is 12 centimeters so it is right that our location of the object or the bottle is between 2f and f so ray number one ray number two ray number three so the intersection of the three reflect refracted rays is this point so our image of the bottle is that one so based on our problem and our solutions the location of the object is beyond 2f prime which is positive 60 more than the focal length or twice of the focal length and it's positive so it is right behind the lens orientation is inverted because our image is magnification is negative size is larger as we have measured as 4 and the type of image is real image 
There you go for problem number one. Problem number two. A chess piece 1.2 cm high is standing 4 cm from a converging lens having a focal length of 20 cm. Locate the position of the image by means of lens equation and ray diagram and find the magnification of the image. So what are the given based on the problem? So 4 cm will be our DO or the distance of the object. 20 centimeters is our focal length. Your 1.2 centimeters is actually your height of the object. So we list them down, although what we only needed are your DO, so 4 centimeters, and your focal length is 20 centimeters. Required position of the image, that will be our distance of the image or DI. And the magnification, which is your M. What are the equations that we need to use? For DI, we use the lens equation 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And for our magnification, M is equal to negative DI over DO. So we continue with our solution. Rearranging the first equation to solve for the di, 1 over di equals 1 over f minus 1 over do. Substituting it or substituting the values we have, 1 over 20 centimeters minus 1 over 4 centimeters. Then the LCD for this 20 and 40 will be 20 so 20 centimeters 20 divided by 20 is 1 times 1 will give us 1 <coughs> excuse me 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 1 then it will have 5 so 1 minus 5 is negative 4 over 20 centimeters then Taking the reciprocal of our di, di will be 20 centimeters divided by negative 4. So our di will be negative 5 centimeters. So what does the negative 5 or what does the negative sign mean? You'll find out in the ray diagram later on. So for the magnification, so m is equal to negative of negative 5 centimeters divided by DO is 4 centimeters. Cancel the units of centimeters. So we get a positive magnification of 1.25. Positive means we have a virtual image and the absolute value 1.25 tell us that it's a larger image. So we check it on our ray diagram. Here it goes. So the chest piece is very near the lens and this is an example of our case number 6 which is the image or rather the object is between F and the lens or very near the lens. So ray number 1 parallel focus and ray number 3 which is this is a center center ray so if you will try to extend it further there will be no intersection of the actual refracted ray so we try to extend it behind I mean further backwards and there is the intersection so this will be our image and the location so what is the location it is in front of the lens how does it stand? It's upright or erect. And since we know that they are the image is in front and upright or erect, we jump into the type of image which is virtual. But how do you compare the size of the image compared to our object? Definitely, it is larger than the object. Question, follow-up question. How large is the image? We can actually get to determine the size of the image remember when the magnification 
our value is 1.25 and our height of the object is 1.2 centimeters high remember we can actually get the height of the image originally from our equation m is equal to h i over h o we can rearrange it finding h i will be magnification times the height of the object so i'm leaving you this portion so try to comment down your answer for the height of the image problem number three a coffee mug that is 10 centimeters tall is at a distance 30 centimeters from a diverging lens a diverging lens is our concave lens its image is found 7.5 centimeters in front of the lens number one what is the focal length of the lens and number two what is the image size so let's have the given 30 centimeters is our do and 7.5 centimeters is our di 10 centimeters is our ho or height of the object we will be needing that for our second question so let me just write it down again do is 30 centimeters di is 7.5 centimeters but take note since it is a diverging lens it should be understood that the image should be negative point negative 7.5 because it is in front of the lens okay ho is 10 centimeters what are the required so number one focal length for we to get the size of the image later on we need to compute first for the magnification and then we can find out the height of our image so what are the equations needed again lens equation 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di and then our magnification where we can just rearrange it later on to find the hi so m is equal to hi over ho equals the negative of di over do so let us begin no need to arrange for our first equation because we're asked to find the focal length so 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di and then substituting it 1 over 30 centimeters plus 1 over negative 7.5 centimeters the lcd of these two numbers will be 30 so 1 over f is equal to 30 centimeters so 30 divided by 30 is 1 times 1 and then 30 <coughs> excuse me 30 divided by negative 7.5 is negative 4 times 1 will be negative 4 and then this will now be negative 3 over 30 centimeters or taking the reciprocal will be f equals 30 centimeters divided by negative 3 we have the focal length to be equal to negative 10 centimeters so it is just right that the focal length is negative because remember a diverging lens will have a negative measurement of our focal length because the principal focus is a virtual one next we now find the magnification so that we can compute for the height of the image later on magnification will be m equals negative di which is negative 7.5 centimeters divided by our do which is 30 centimeters then the unit of centimeters will be cancelled out therefore 
our value will be positive. So, 7.5 divided by 30 is actually 1 fourth. Or, this is just the same as 0.25. So, this is less than 1. It would mean that our image size is smaller and positive means it is a virtual image. But the last question is that we are to find the size of the image. So, I left a question on problem number 2. I hope you have answer that correctly or you try to answer it so that we can have it for number or for this problem so for us to determine the hi so we can actually use this part of the equation for the magnification similar to what i have done for problem number two so rearranging the equation so again m is equal to hi over ho rearranging to find the hi will be magnification times the height of the object so we will get 0.25 times HO is 10 centimeters and that would mean 10 times 0.25 will be 2.5 centimeters and it will always tell us that indeed your image has been reduced so we check it on our read diagram this is the concave lens or the diverging lens mentioned and this is the location of our object the coffee mug ray number one ray number two and ray number three there is our image a tiny or smaller image of the coffee mug so where is the image located we only have one location general location for our image formation in diverging lens and it is in front of the lens how is it oriented it is upright or erect and since we already have the two the type of image is virtual and last but not the least the size of the image that we have is smaller than the object Down to our last problem, number 4. A concave lens with a focal length of 90 centimeters is in front of a car that is located 5 meters away. What is the magnification of the image of the car? So, the given are 90 centimeters as our focal length. But remember, this is a concave lens. And then, the car as our object is located 5 meters so this is our do so we write it down focal length that should be negative 90 centimeters distance of the object is 5 meters or equivalently this is 500 centimeters what are the required before we can find the magnification we need to determine first our di or the distance of the image the image of the car and then we can find the magnification so what are the equations needed to solve our problem again the lens equation 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di and the magnification which is m is equal to negative di over do so let us now solve rearranging our lens equation to find the di that will give us 1 over di equals 1 over focal length minus 1 over do substituting we have 1 over negative 90 centimeters minus 1 over 500 centimeters so the reciprocal or rather the lcd of 90 and 500 centimeters is 4500 centimeters so 4500 centimeters divided by 90 will give us 50 negative 50 and then minus 4500 
divided by 500 is 9 times 1, so it's 9. Negative 50 minus 9 is negative 59 over 4,500 centimeters. So, solving for it, taking the reciprocal of di, we get 4,500 centimeters divided by negative 59 and the di will therefore be around negative 76.27 centimeters. Negative di means for a concave lens, the image is in front of the lens. How about the magnification since it's the final as or final required for this problem? We have to substitute it here so we get m equals negative of negative 76.27 centimeters divided by the do which is 500 centimeters canceling the unit of centimeters therefore we get a value of positive 0.15 what does it mean for the last time for this video lesson positive would mean we have a virtual image and our absolute value 0.15 it's less than 1 so we have a smaller image so let's check our answers using re diagram so this is it re number one re number two and re number three there you go our image based on the re diagram is smaller that's why we can have the description location is again in front of the lens it's a negative di measurement it's right. Number two, it's a standing upright or erect. Therefore, it's a virtual image. Sorry, a virtual image and a smaller image. There you go. Our video lesson covers problem solving related to spherical lenses. And it's time for you to test and check your understanding by solving and accomplishing the problems assigned for you. If there are any other questions, please feel free to put or write down a comment and I'll get back to you or send me a personal message. Thank you, grade 10, and mabuhay!